Caroline DeRoos. Um, I'm just so happy to have you here with me today and talking about enlightening conversations. And I know that you have a big audience out there who love you and you're getting ready to start broadcasting again on your own and you will have your own channel at some point soon. And we want to invite anybody who gets to watch this and listen to you out there on the airwaves to begin looking for your channel so they can actually hop on with you and have conversations, have dialogues and discussions and talk about enlightening topics. Yeah, because I have learned one thing and you know. Hi, Carolina. Hi, good evening. How are you today? I'm great today. Yay. It's so good to have you here with us. This is our 21st Century Superhuman Show. And for those who don't know, I'm Carrie Kiristar Ellis, author of the 21st Century Superhuman Book Series. And we talk about how to activate your super self. And our show today, Fridays, is about future tech future science. And so Caroline, we know that you have many years put in on teaching and sharing future science. And we want to hear what you've got to say today. So what I got to say is a lot because we are in a shift of time. And yes. I have been feeling the changes so yes. rapid and it has started actually beginning this month it's an energy boost you cannot imagine it is amazing you feel powerful you feel strong you feel happy it's like you have the all the time in the world to do get your things done it's amazing and i see Beautiful. it happening with the people which are positive it goes faster very nice. You know, we talk about that as the great shift of the ages. This was predicted by the ancients. It is a time that we can't turn away from. It is a time of great change on the planet. And I see, um, I think it's James Triplett is here. He's saying, hello, Caroline. Great to see you. Hello, James. Welcome. I'm glad you are present and more are going to come in because they have been responding positive but it will take time. Yes. Time, but as you said, time is happening really fast and things are happening fast. Synchronicities, awarenesses, us being really present with our hearts and our souls and our knowledge. And it's important stuff. Although I've been trying to put people in a positive direction or a positive state of mind to deal with as fast as they can with what they're dealing with. But it's like you were talking Chinese to them. You're talking a different language. They don't understand you. And then you have to step back and say, you know, they need time. They need time. But now I start coming more forward because it's a repetitive behavior, which um, I don't tolerate them anymore. I have no more patience for it because if you're not in a positive mood now, you're doing all your steps backwards. And this is something Beautiful. you can't. Everyone is where they are on the path, right? And we have to allow them that. And then we, if we're being told to move forward, we keep moving forward. What I want to say to you, Caroline, is... I feel like we have such a beautiful global community and we have such a beautiful global family and we're all connected with each other. And I just think it's so great how you and I reconnected, you reconnected with JC. I think James had something to do with that. And so we're, oh, each, yeah. we're each playing, we're each a piece of the puzzle. We're each a piece of this unfolding puzzle of the awakening of humanity. And if we each do what we're given in our heart to do, that is how we do things in the place where we are, we really are part of creating change. And I think it's just even so beautiful how we just came together to do this show. It just came out of nowhere. But yeah. Literally, it just came in a week time. It was James who sent me something and I responded, who and what and where? <laughs> and then... It was like 
he pretended he didn't know. And then he sent me you. And JC, and, me and JC. Yeah, and he yeah. just he just sent me a link. I got in touch with him. And then everything just went in such a fast mood. <laughs> and two weeks later, we are already here. Two weeks. Yeah. That's fabulous. It's really it's, fa it's and insane. and again, I come back to each person playing their role. Each person speaking their truth, speaking up when they're guided to speak their truth, reaching out to each other. I just feel such warmth in my heart, you know, for each of us. And when we connect, like realizing that we have this family who is co-supportive of each other, who loves each other, who loves hearing what each other has to say. It's just beautiful. We have to keep an eye on the truth that is coming on the surface. And I was sent, as I already explained to you a little bit about it, I was sent a link from somebody that has helped me a lot. And he literally pushed my nose into it to open it up more. Because, you know, sometimes you get links, but you don't go into it. But usually I follow up when they send me a link and and this time I was really, it became like, you know, you're getting hypnotized to go deeper for it because something is triggering you to know. And then when I start going through it and I, start, I said, this is absolutely making sense. And it's the new German medicine. It's a doctor to make it short because you can read the profile who uh, had lost a son uh, who got shot. He only survived two months. I don't know the whole, Ali, the whole story, but I know one thing that the doctor, um, after the death of his son, he got prostate cancer and he could not understand why this was happening to him because oh, he was yeah. a healthy man. He was a, he's, he's a doctor himself. And then he went uh, searching for answers. And because he was in the medical field and connected to a hospital, he started really going, looking deeper into all these things. And it is astonishing what he has discovered. Our bodies are fully capable of healing themselves. They have all the memories to do it. They have the mechanism to do it. And the way he explains it, it's not easy for people when they go in there the first time. But I always say the first thing you have to pay notice to it is what has caused it, what has created it. And this was already in my teachings in the past that I always say it happens within your mind. You're creating your conditions. And you have to be aware of that. You are creating something. Your thoughts, your way of verbally expressing yourself, your emotions. And what you receive from the outside has an impact on you. And I always try to make it very simple. I said, imagine that you have a telephone on your right hand, which is red, and a left hand, which is black. On the red one is nothing but good news that comes through that phone. So your heart jumps up, your emotions jump up, you're happy, you're, you're excited. And then the other one brings you more a different type of news, like somebody has passed away or somebody had an accident or you get a verdict about something or a summons. But that brings straight away your emotions down. And it's that impact that he has discovered that your body, physically, you're responding to it. So it's like a shake. You, you go like through a milkshaker, put it that way. So after that process, your body has to cope with the stress you have went through. And if it's negative, it's usually you start having headaches, you start coughing, you start getting shivers, you go for a flu. And if you don't want to listen to it and you want to, don't want to slow down and get the healing process done, you're going to block yourself and twist your ankle or break your leg 
<laughs> That's right. We call it getting a piano dropped on our head. <laughs> Caroline, yes, Guiding Owl writes in the chat, it's wonderful that doctors are starting to realize that we make ourselves sick, but also have the power to heal ourselves. Most of the time, it's buried emotions. And Plants by Fred says, deep dives can be profound. We have when the doctor is the beauty of it, when you go sick, you are actually in the healing process. So when you have cancer, you're not dying. Your body is generating everything to put you back in the right balance. And I have had <clears throat> several, you know, checkups with other people. Like uh, a story from somebody who is quite close to me, uh, who actually sent me the link. He was uh, diagnosed with a swelling on his kidneys. And the doctor wanted to remove the kidney straight away. He was scheduling already the operation and everything. And he said, I'm not doing this. But in the meantime that he got this diagnosis, he got this link from this doctor. So he dived into it to find out what this was all about. That's why he was pushing me so hard to go into it. And then what they actually are explaining is that the swelling is the self-healing he was actually creating a third kidney to support the ill kidney. And I, he hasn't gone for the results yet, but I think it's in March. He has to go for checkup. And then we will see he is healthy, he's good, and he has not let the doctor to touch him to remove a healthy kidney. Well, a kidney that was problem, but not that bad to be removed. So he has had patience with his body. And then he starts discovering a doctor who works with this principle of this German new medicine. And the guy explained, he said, you are developing an extra kidney to support your ill kidney. He also explains, once you have been diagnosed with cancer, you're not dying. You are more susceptible to die from the shock. And the fear that causes that verdict from the doctors when they tell you, but if they would scan and put people under MRIs and over periods of time, everybody has had somewhere, somehow, a swelling or a cancer, like shape, form, but don't touch it because your body is literally in the healing process. Yes. It produces everything to put you back in order. So... When you get that there is something and you have pain, you are already in the healing process. So all these new things, this is what we have to work on. This is what we have to make people to be aware of. It's not what they have told us. It's not what they have taught our doctors. It's nothing even coming close. It's, we have been lied to so much. Yes. And now we are in the in that change of rapid discovering what we need to know because yes. they can't hold us back anymore. Mm -hmm. And the truth is coming up left, right, and center. And the people all start waking up for it. So it's our responsibility to make sure that people know that we don't carry it and we just work with it ourselves. I used to have migraines, attacks, very severe and very bad for years on end. And I couldn't figure out what the heck, I tried everything, believe me, because I was always for the last 15 years on self-injecting, self-medicating, because I just couldn't hold on to the pain. And I start standing still what happened two, three days before I get the migraine? And when you start analyzing it yourself, you start standing still with what happened. It's not you necessarily, but it can be that you made yourself angry because of somebody, you know, irritated you. That could trigger it. Something that you ate wrong, 
or something that you notice that had an impact on you that triggers that kind of phenomenon, like Mirene. When you analyze it and you go positive towards it, that you say you acknowledge to yourself that you understand what it is, what has happened, and that it will turn out to be good, I have managed in the last four months not to trigger no more migraines. Maybe some emotional pain has gone away too. It's It comes from different angles because you cannot always straightway pinpoint where migraine is coming from. And a lot of people are suffering from it. Yes. But it is an event, emotionally, you're correct. It's an event, but it's an event that happens on a very short period of time. So you only need to go back two or three days. Mm. When you have severe pains, you know, like kidney. Ah, I forgot to tell you, he found out why his kidney was suffering. And why? It was explained by that doctor he found out who was working with this new principle or start learning it to understand it as well, because it's it's a lot to take in. Even as a doctor, you have to review everything and reanalyze everything. And he understood, you know, the, the forecasting that uh, there would be a great flood. Yes. That it would happen, but it's not going to happen because it already happened. Right. And, but he was with, busy with this already for 15 years trying to move out of his house, trying to sell his property, trying to go to higher grounds, as we say, to stay out of the flood line. So the fear of the water is related to your kidneys because kidneys are your water filters. So that mm. fear has had the impact on the kidneys. The minute he realized at the same time his whole body just changed. And the problem is finished because he has no longer the fear that they're going to get flooded. The house was up for sale and we couldn't get it in the market. It was not going. Everything was getting blocked. It's a beautiful paradise garden. It's amazing where he's living. I was there. He has a swimming pool. He had everything. But the fear that they would get flooded because they're too close to the coastline. Uh, he was doing everything already for 10 years. They were planning to get higher up grounds. <laughs> now, this whole truth just came to him. And now he's happy at home. He's comfortable. He's calm. And the problem is gone with the kidney. But wow. I'm going to... I'm going to let you know what the results are with the scan, how the kidney is doing, if he has developed a third kidney or if the kidney has completely healed itself. Right. The pain is completely yeah. gone. That's for sure. Nice. So I when see. you, so sorry, when you get, it doesn't matter what they tell you. You know that you are in a healing stage. Right. So no panic. That's right. And really the truth is the body only wants to make itself well. All we have to do is get out of its way and allow it to do its natural healing process. I see Joy smiling in the green room. Joy, um, <laughs> should we let her hop on a minute and see if she wants to chat it with you a bit? Oh, Joy, it's a joy in life. Yes. What so yeah, I, I finally smile. realized you were talking about uh, Peter, uh, right? No, Patrick. Uh, Patrick. Yeah, Patrick. Yeah, yes. Patrick. Yeah, that's very interesting. He went through it. Yeah. So I, I yeah, I didn't know that he had some kidney issues. Yeah. We talk. We talk a lot about uh, his moving, looking for places. And I think uh, one of the most important thing right now is um, we were actually trained, you know, customs, traditions, environment, uh, and every everything else, the government. Someone is always telling us that our cure, our help 
is actually from the outside. Yes, but now right. we get to this point where we really have to realize that everything inside of you is actually, you know, what you need. And yes. uh, most people, just like religion, you know, we look up to God that is outside of us. But the best, uh, you know, your the the God within you is actually there, and yes. all the tools that we need is actually there. One, um, uh, I just wanted to mention. Uh, I don't know if you already heard about uh, bio geometry. It's actually um, Dr. Ibrahim. Uh, Ibrahim something I, and uh, it, it's like synchronicity. You know, if we wanted something, then something will show up. It just pops like a few days ago. It pops into my screen because I never heard about it. And uh, with Kesha Foundation, uh, they actually, we, we, we talk about uh, energy and all that stuff. And then for those who actually have the, uh, the capacity to sense energy they realize something is a bit off and uh, so the same thing with um, with um, Isaac uh, with Ibrahim and uh, what happened is he actually created the uh, uh, a new paradigm where people realize that okay so uh, we actually everything around us is uh, based on symbols and all that stuff and if we're actually at home we don't realize that the concrete the walls and everything around us is actually you know it's emitting emf and it's actually contributing to the body's diseases and you can actually with some symbols with some signs you can get it out of your system and so the interesting thing is uh, I thought about what uh, the Cash Foundation, you know, uh, Caroline, the uh, the pain pan, uh, the pain pan, and all that stuff. Now we get to the point where we don't need that anymore. Everything is inside the body if we know, if we realize it. So the same thing with the bio geometry. I yeah, realize. there's a. Um the yeah. link for biogeometry is getting placed in the chat as well as nice. learning nice. Yeah, so people but can guess find what? Everything. Okay, they're selling this uh this pendant, which is the same as the like pain, pain pan and everything else that's being sold. It's actually it's I saw something for seventy dollars or seventy two. Most of them are sold out. Wow. It's amazing. And so I'm saying, okay, can I make this just like the way I did, you know, the um, uh, the Kesha projects where you use copper and everything. And right. then I finally realized, wait a minute, it's actually inside of me. You know, I can, right. you know, True. we don't need any tools. We can be in, uh, you know, on top of the mountain in the middle of the ocean and we can actually right. do everything. We have the power. I think that's what sovereignty is all about. It's time we all, yeah. you know, practice that. It's correct right. because yeah. Joy knows my journey more than anyone else. And <clears throat> the only thing I'm actually have to hold on to is the being positive. Every day, everything that comes in my way that I'm getting confronted with it's being approaching it the positive way even and joy has really given me a very good trick to know how to deal with this and that is um you have let's say a hundred things she explains it to me and let's say 60 are going positive and then suddenly 40 of them go you know negative we're going to use those words because we don't have any other means of expressing what it means. She says, but why would you go and take your attention to the negative? Just be aware that they are there, but just keep more positive. Focus more on the positive. Automatically, what is negative is just going to disappear because you don't feel it anymore. So... Be aware that they are going to try to distract you, she calls it. <laughs> and that distraction has been there because your day can be so amazing and then suddenly something comes your way and it would really shake you. 
And I mean, <laughs> shake you to the core that you, you get angry or you get frustrated or you get sad. But the minute it happens, just be on top of you. Recompose yourself and just go straight away the positive way. It, yes. it can't touch you. It just cannot touch you, but it will try. Yes. And it can yes. come out of the most amazing corners that, that you say, but why? They just try to shake you, she says, or Joy's explanation is... <laughs> We are in a duality and we have to deal with it. Yep. So there is always a choice. So be on top of the choice of the choices you make and make sure that they are going positive because those are the ones for giving the results. Because everything I had yesterday, a very strange encounter because I went outside specific because I have too many things at the moment. And I want to make sure that they go to the right people. And my neighbor, my previous neighbor was a firefighter. And uh, he helped me out with something. And he mentioned that there are two families who lost their houses in fire a few weeks ago. And that brought me to think. And I said to him, as I went yesterday and I called on the door and I said, do you know? where those people are, that we can help them. Because I want to give it directly to them that I know where it goes. Because if you put it in the church and they so-called are going to give it to where it belongs, I saw them loading it up to the, how do you call it, a Kringlo shop with circulates around, but they're selling it. But that's not the purpose why people are donating their goods unless they do it directly to the shop that they can sell it so i thought we must be able to give things to people that we don't need to sell it at least what we don't need anymore and he said i once the fire is done he says our job is done i said you know something when you put the word out the information comes towards you i said you Put the spread the word, I said, and it will start coming to you. Oh, he, says, true. he says, That's a nice way. I will let you know. I said, You have my phone. I said, If you have any people that are getting relocated, okay, they receive the help from the social, um, they're not on the street, they get rehomed, they get relocated, but they have lost everything which they had or it's damaged. So when then they get to their place where they're going to go, they enjoy the, the little extras as well, just like you and me. So when you put the word out, it starts traveling. So you create your own positivity. And I have had this conversation with Joy, and I said, you can never forget to give. Never True. forget. That's right. That's right. It's, yes. It's something, even if it's a hand or reaching out. Yes. Or it doesn't matter. It doesn't necessarily need to mean in goods or money. Just be there always to catch when somebody isn't doing so right. Or That's good. right. Yep. I'm good. So yes. I have a question. Go ahead. What were you going to say? No, no. You, I just well, was about to ask if you have questions. Yeah. Oh, good. Perfect. So my question is, I'd love to know what you think about plasma technology these days. Plasma is oneself. Nothing else. Very good. Because if you understand that you create... And believe me, in the last two years, I have witnessed it myself firsthand. And I can tell you stories and stories and stories. And it keeps on happening over and over again. It's an unbelievable journey when you put your own as, what do I want? But I have to mention, I had three people guiding me. And that is Brandon, Joy, and Brigitte. Mm -hmm. And then 
Patrick helped me with the technical uh, problems, things that I didn't know, programs he was searching for me that I needed to use to work properly. So he was my right hand man. But the spiritual guidance I got from Brandon and from Joy, and there is a lot of credit that is going to those two people because everyone who has been witnessing the process, what started happening, they were there day and night. Carrie, you have no idea. 24 hours for at least a year and a half, I had those two people by my side. And the best advice they have given to me was, listen, you have gone through a shock. And the shock was not only emotionally, it was deeper than that. It was the shock of realizing that things were really, 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 really wrong. And it hurts. And that pain can actually destroy you. So they let me to mother on, you know, like for a day or a month or two. And then suddenly when I was still working, I was doing a lot of research because I had to know why. So all the answers start coming to me. I found it because they're there. People talk. There's one lesson that or good advice I can give to people, a good guidance. Listen to what people are going to tell you or what they are telling you, because that is exactly what they're going to do to you. Because you cannot speak about something you're not busy with. If it doesn't exist in your mind, you don't talk about it. True. So that's the first golden rule. So, I was having a very rough time until I suddenly Brandon said, stop Caroline, you got, you can cry and do whatever you like, he says, when it's done. When it's all over, he says, you can sit and snop and stop as much as you like. But now he says, you have to choose to put your business hat on. Very good. And business, and business means you got to rule out all the rest and just focus on what needs to be done. And your creation hat. What do you want to create? What yes. energy are you going to walk around focusing on? Yeah, but that came in a later stadium because you have to still mm, meddle yourself through. It, it's a shock. It's a, something that... It's like the verdict of a doctor that gives you... Uh, God knows what kind of verdict... I'm not even going to speak them out because I don't want Good. to. I agree. Them. I agree. Yes. <laughs> but I mean, that advice has given me the strength because I locked it up. I kept the key and I will deal with it or I have dealt with it already some parts of it. But and because of what you're doing, it's also just dissipating, you know, and you're ending up creating a new path for yourself. Yes, and that path has been supported by those two people amazingly. Because Beautiful. I can assure you, there are not many people that stand by next to you. It doesn't matter in the middle of the night because I was hardly sleeping. I was sleeping mm -hmm. two, three hours right. a day, days on end. And when I had a rough time, I just picked up the phone and they were there. Nice. But the guidance was the most important thing. A lot of people don't know that there are a lot of bodies walking around with no soul. Yes. There, uh, there is not enough awareness that not everyone is human around us. So that those are the first things you have to be aware of. The kindness speaks for itself when you're dealing with a human or not. That's the first yes. rule. The second thing is what, and that came down from Brandon, mainly, do you want to live in the old world? Do you want to carry on creating what was or what we know? 
or are you going to step out a completely new route? And what are you going to plant? What are you going to create? Very good. And that is then the journey that has put me, and I can prove it because it has happened to me. Everything you need comes, comes to you. Yeah. Yes. Everything. It doesn't matter what it is. If yes. it's a bread or it's it's warmth or it's a solution. Yes. Sometimes you already have spoken about it, but without realizing that you actually you're were already on the right path, but it takes time for then the other things in the materialistic world to come to you to be able for you to be able to start creating more and more in detail mm -hmm. in that matter. And yes. you also need time to adjust because you're changing everything around you. That's and right. believe, believe me, I cannot really put my foot down on it enough to people that are around me. And that's why sometimes it's, it sounds like Chinese, but it's very simple. Try it. Do it yourself and you'll see it changes. But you have to hold on to it. You have yes. to stay firm in what yes. you create. Yep. And I, the funny I part totally is, get it. Totally get the, it. The funny part is, in my teachings, I already start talking about those things without me even being aware of it. Because now the memories are coming back that how can you, if you just look in your house, you have taken the responsibility your color of curtains, your color of clothes, what kind of clothes, what kind of food you bring in the house, what kind of furniture, with who you commute with, where have you chosen your home, in what environment, what animals are you bringing in, your interaction with everything in your existing little space is your decision. So if you have taken the responsibility of that creation, why would you not be responsible for everything that else beyond those walls come towards you or what you want to create outside your walls? Right. It's simple. And then it comes because the broader you make your perspective of what you're creating and what you want and how you want it and you exercise it. And you don't need to be, you know, 99% of your day being busy with it. No, you create it and you let it go. And then it has its time to materialize and to come towards you. That's right. And I had sometimes the worries and then they affect me physically straight That's away. Right. Yep. And then sometimes when I don't find the answer, then I have like Brandon or Joy which I can throw a fish out to get some advice. And sometimes uh -huh. they bounce it back to me and say, you know, you got to figure it out this one yourself. Right. But it is in that direction because you already know. And the True. wisdom is within you. That's Just right. make time to listen. Go back switch everything off and just go in peace and quiet with yourself and then the answers start coming That's and then right. i pick up the phone and i say yes you're right because i just remember this and there it is and the, the good thing is what i do quite a few times a day is i always in my mind i say everything is always working out for me everything is always working out for me Perfect. And I bless and I'm grateful for everything every day. Perfect. I have even started exercising my creation on the weather. And I'm getting my sunny days as I wish them. And it's amazing. I said, you have given us enough water. Everything is enough. Now it's time to give us some warmth and some sunshine. That's exactly right. Stuff. It's amazing. Yes. So people can decide what they want, how they want it. It's just the confidence to do it. That's really, really true. I totally agree with you. Um, 
I just really appreciate what you're saying. And I have similar experience in my life. It was very important for me to take my responsibility. And I'm going to take the chance to do this now with you. I do apologize for all the hardship to so many people that have been bestowed with hardship from the Keshe Foundation. I do sincerely wish them all the best. There is going to be a turning point. I have taken my responsibility for things that have gone wrong out of my power, but the minute I realized that I walked out and that was taking my responsibility when the time was right. Important, speaking our truth. Taking your responsibility is far more important than speaking the truth. Yes. You, no, have, to, I'd say. you have to acknowledge yes. that things have gone wrong and that you not always had your hands in it or could yep. have. That's right. There were a lot of things concealed that I, yes. I couldn't even imagine. I but, had the same experience. It's amazing. And we have to come, we have to speak our truth, walk our truth, talk our truth, step out when we know that things are not being done in a coherent way. And yeah. we go on with our the joy of our creation. Caroline, we have somebody, their name online here is Bill Bao Love Estela. Do you know? Hi there. Hi. Hi, what Hi, you Estella. Estella. <laughs> Hi. Go ahead and talk Hi. to Caroline. How you doing? Long time. Long <laughs> time. <laughs> it's but been it's a good. very long time. How are yeah. you? I'm good. I'm in Northern California, cold. I was ready to put another log of wood. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's so good. I I think everything is an experience and a learning and expansion. And I think even though this game it's uh it's tough and we wanna bring justice and we wanna bring the best but at the end, you have to go through stuff in order to appreciate the good, you know, and the peace and the coherence and the harmony. And that's why I cannot judge today because I think everything is, is done in a way so we can expand and learn, you know. Oh, it's a learning journey, and but it has become a joy learning journey. I don't worry about anything anymore, and I have no more fears. The yeah. fears have gone out of the window because you make it happen every day when you are there to do it. Yeah, at the, I truly believe we are at the center, each of us, of our, the center of each particle, fractal. And the point is to find out who we are. And that's, that's the key, you know, find that you're love and you're playing in a, in a holographic game and you're creating your own stuff without knowing until you wake up. But uh, it's, it's to find out that we are part of everything and and this is a learning, this is, this is a learning space. But it went out of control, I know. Too tough to wake up and too tough to get into the organic evolution because we were triggered you know, trick like it, the like kids. And that's what I don't think is good because it's very difficult to wake up. And but we're out of it. We're out of it. It's just a matter of adjusting 
to yeah um, i know the realization but... that now we're out don't go back to where we came from it has happened no, no, i'm not saying that i know about there they are thinking and they're talking you know because they don't they don't feel in the way we feel they they don't much more evolved they don't understand these body emotions mental everything all together at the same time so when you express that and you share they understand and and it's very it's very difficult to wake up i mean mastering and wake up and being in the present and be your authentic self and and being in harmonious no judgment uh, keeping your body uh, healthy uh, be joyful working in a metric is completely a monster it's tough <laughs> okay and i i have to say if this is a, a school a nursing school for souls to completely integrate um you know it's only the master of the master that wake up really in in the right way but uh it's very tough and i think it needs to be a little bit you know why not kids can since they're little they have the right to self know themselves and develop education and being happy and grow up at 13 15 to be joyful humans with a soul why do they need to struggle yeah. with i really this is the earth school you know we have so much to do here it's like learning through the struggles i say some of us have had to crawl through the mud to get to you know yeah. to get to our awareness but it's Swim. beautiful it is a beautiful soul journey and i really appreciate you sharing about yeah. it i yeah because my dream and my vision is to give a space to the young souls so they don't need to struggle as much as we yes and, and to have a, a new space where they can really self-discover it just have yes. a body emotions and bring the beautiful aspect of being human and and learn to work together and and it's like it it's a new nursing school for me i, I think it needs to be something that is not so dramatic you know something right. a little bit it's changing nah, that's yeah. that was my intention of the message like i think it's, this is a great idea but not so you know difficult let's right. say right and those young we, ones are coming in with mind and heart more connected they won't even put up with the old stuff no go ahead caroline don't. yeah they don't I see mm -hmm. it with my youngest, he's 17 now. Yeah. He is very, very, very hard on. He doesn't take no wasting time. Mm -hmm. And he knows specifically when it's going to waste time. Yeah. And he, <laughs> I remember an anecdote. He could go and play with friends. And he was standing on the corner of the house and I still had to go inside to get something for him to be able to go swimming. When I came back outside, he was looking at me and he was going very angry. He says, you're wasting my time. He says, you're wasting my time, mama. I can go and play. You're wasting my time. I will never forget this. And he is still till today, no time waster. It's That's amazing. Beautiful. That's they're beautiful. going so fast yes yeah. they really we, are we are the you know estella we had to go and do what we have done we had to experience because we are the key to unlock the future of our children mm -hmm. we carry the key and it is for us to guard that key that it doesn't get used or switched on or open a door to what we have experienced. So we have to close those doors and we have the experience to be able to put our children and the ones which are waking up and the ones which are start coming in to put them on the right path 
through our experience. So it's not lost. It's actually a gift of gold that you carry and look at it as a key because they cannot make it if we don't end it. That's right. And she says, you are suffering. You are having a really hard journey. I said, yes. She says, don't worry. She says, it's going to take another three years. But every year, she says, it's going to get better. You're slowly or walking out of it. To me, if she said that or something else, I was in it and I was not knowing where I was going left, right or center. That's amazing. Very good. Three years, six weeks before the three years ended, I was out of the foundation. Out. And then I said, my God, how is this possible? And then the information came why. You had to learn. You had to have this journey. You couldn't walk out of this journey any for, any earlier because it's been a learning school. That's right. You're learning. You're, it's mm -hmm. like you're going to university. Yeah. And once you're out and the time is right and you learn everything you need to learn, you're going to walk out. I walked out. Three years later on the day, I was out. And I did the walking myself without even realizing it. I didn't walk out of my marriage. Huh? People have made a mistake there. I did not walk out of my marriage. I walked out of the foundation. I said goodbye to my students that night in private. I didn't even go public. So I was stepping out of the foundation, but not out of my marriage. So cash threw me out of the marriage, not me. And... In the future, that will all be put right when the time is right. If the time is not right yet. But I want to make sure that people understand I did not walk out of my marriage. I walked out of a, something that I never walked off my path of correctness. My conduct from the day when I start working has always to help people, to support people, to guide people, to do whatever I could to help it's my nature i yes. can't do no harm to nobody That's i would right. go i would destroy myself if I, would, if I would put a foot wrong to anyone i can't i just can't it's not i can't even stay angry with nobody i can talk to my worst enemies when i come across them or bump into them i will go and say hello to me it doesn't exist the past right. is the past yeah. I just want to mention something that I, it's been a reflection to me since I left um, the school, right? The K school. Yeah. Um, I really, for me, it was very beautiful, the soul classes. Because um, I was able to tune in to the frequency of everybody. We were unify and we had a great experience i mean i'm what i'm talking about right now is an evolution right of um sharing with other people which i think when you do it from the heart and f integrated with the mind and and the soul it's very powerful and i experienced that um with you in in that class and i was able to feel everybody i mean it was like sometimes too much for me and um interesting i didn't know i didn't know at that time you know the senses and the connection with the heart and the connection with the it's like i experienced it before it click right and then you know and um so interesting i felt that something wasn't right but i didn't know what was it what? The, the details right so i remember i left and i should uh, walk in and 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 um, mr k was talking very bad to you without respect 
And that put me in a really high, um, and uh, that's when I left. There was no, and I knew something was wrong. And then I read about magnetic, magnetic people. They know how they prepare themselves to be magnetic. And then it clicked to me and I said, wow, this is Mr. K because when he talks, he's magnetic and it, it kind of grabs you. It took me 30 days to really strongly say, you cannot go back to that class. You cannot go back to that class. And I realized I was mind controlled. Yeah. Okay. And, um, so and there is a library online and I found this book about talking a magnetic, I cannot remember the title, but they talk about that, that they know how the brain works and everything and you need to be, you can develop this. So everybody it's pays hypnotized. attention. It's hypnotizing. And I just want, yes, well, I, because we're talking about from the energy, you know, everything yeah. is energy, magnetic, electrical. And so I realized and I said, wow, bingo. So it was a learning experience that helped me to identify these aspects I'm, I'm sharing with you. And I want to share because there is a lot of good things that we, we experience. So, and so I just want to share that with you and especially the, the lack of principles right I'm, I'm i'm very in the old-fashioned the souls were doing yeah. the job yes mm -hmm. i was just part of it i cannot even take the all the credit of it but <clears throat> the yeah. only way i can say is i was guiding them because i got the information a tiny little bit before we even went to do the creation of the wishes because you need a specific way of creating your wishes. You need a specific way of creating your day and your future and your environment because yeah, you but, have to know. Yeah, but there is a key that nobody really put attention on this. The synchronization of the heart and we were in a specific resonance, unified. Yeah. Yes. That you will recognize if you were inside that space. Mm -hmm. And when when we were developing a thought, a wish, it was felt in a such a degree that that was the power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um yes. and and I mean today from I don't remember how many days eight years ago, but you know, you see in the internet, there is a lot of gurus. Everybody is an expert. Everybody is like super human. And the new is that hard synchronization. Yep. And we Beautiful. were all, you know, there was no one voice above the other ones. Everybody was in the same resonance. Everybody was equal. Yeah. And... And I think this is where we need to really promote that people realize is the day you know who you are, you don't need to use your ego to prove your existence. Right. So th throw that in the trash can and start to do good things for yourself and humanity, you know? Yes, very good. My purpose, uh, Stella, and my wish and joy knows because i've been trying to re-establish my teaching my platform it wasn't time i am there now to create those souls in unity to start creating again but on the heart level and we will achieve so much yeah, it's unbelievable Remember these principles I'm talking is, I call it virtues. They are very, it's like geometries that come from the higher realms. Virtues, yes, and, beautiful. Yeah, so there are principles, you know, and then, and, and we need to learn, is we need to bring the, the heaven to this 
this plane. But, you know, we learn to, to do things in a more beautiful way because when, yes. you, when, you, when you honor, it's beautiful to honor someone. You do it from the, oh my God, you know, hi, hi. You know, when you say, you see someone and wow, how are you doing? I want to know from you, you know. Is their presence, their their yes. spark of life, that mm -hmm. we see it and say, "I see you." Wow, how you doing? You know, and it's like, why not to do it with strangers, and why not to open to the flowers we never touch, because mm -hmm. everything is consciousness. It is, and that's why we are gonna wake up again. We are gonna. Like they're gonna come in. Yes. Even even Carrie will will is working from the same platform. She's also gone through a turbulence and, and it's also a fresh start as I have understood. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I want to just jump in and say something. Um, because I know Caroline, you will have an Estelle, Estella, you will have long conversations like this. I know many are going to come and you guys will be having these beautiful chats and it's so important. And I think everything that's been expressed here, I align with, I have also experienced. I experienced it when I was inside KF and then I experienced it again with another organization this past year and the shock, you know, but my biggest takeaway, besides the fact that I am a creator of my reality and I know that, my biggest takeaway was the sorrow within myself to not speak up in the moment to that magnetic person who kind of overwhelmed me, you know, and um, that's my biggest lesson. I mean, coming into our power, coming into our, and doing it with kindness. You know, I don't have to rage at somebody, but to speak that truth in the moment. And um, I think each of us that can learn to do that sooner, we will, help revise the construct that has been put together with negativity or self aggrandizement or ego. Um, and to believe that each one of us has so much value to speak up and that what we have to say is important. I get all choked up. <laughs> but we have to speak, Carrie. We cannot stay That's right. quiet. That's because right. One of the warnings or alerts that I got from Brandon was, where are you ladies? Where are you? I'm right. waiting for you. I cannot pull on my own. Right. You need to come in. You are the yes. keys to, because the, the, the female energy is going to be the stabilizer because we are the creators of the new ones. Yes. And let's, we, let's pull, we are the nourished ones. We are the one yes. who's nourishing the new future ones that are coming. So mamas, ladies, women, we're going to have to be there to support or what the future will bring for where we want to steer it to. Yes. Let's and, pull Colleen Black in and let's see what oh, she's yeah. got to add. Hi, Colleen. Hi, Colleen. <laughs> Beautiful lady. Hi, Hi good to see you. See all you guys. It's so good to see you. Ah, yes. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long time. I know. I know. It's been a long journey. It's been a lot of, lot of, a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to stop. You know, like we're, <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, like, look at all the stuff that's coming out now. You know, like, I, I don't know. You know, like I, I've learned adversity, just smile at it. Just smile at it and know that they're in a different spot right now. They're in a different place. Whatever they're dealing with, whatever, you know, like they're not they're not awake or whatever, you know, like, um, how's your garden doing? You know? <laughs> how's that? You know, like how's everything with you? You, la, la, la. Disarm, you know, you they disarm them with laughing. Yeah, the best, yeah. The best, just, just, the best way when somebody tries to, you know, talk down to you, you just burst in a laugh. And you disarm yeah. them. You disarm them straight away. I got catch that. 
ladies. I used to do that with my grandpa too because he would get all flustered, you know, like, oh my gosh, we're going to be late for this. We're going to be late. Blah, blah, blah. You know, and stuff. And I would just start laughing or just make a joke or whatever it was just to bring people out of that moment. I mean, do you realize what we're on the precipice of right here, right now? Yes. Like the yes, time yes, that yes. we're in, this is the apocalypse. We've just come through it. We've realized so many freaking truths that has blown us out of the water. We've been humbled to, to know it because we've had to deal with the monsters in our own lives that have been holding us back and telling us that we're, oh, you're not worth it. You know, you're just to this, you're just to that. Because right. they have to do you, have, you have changed, woman. <laughs> oh, I have. <laughs> I guess Ladies, so. I hardly <laughs> recognize you. Any apocalypse will do that to you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, so I'm going to have my own show. I'm going to have my own platform. And now we can put our souls together, ladies. Yes. And you're all welcome to come back on board again. We're going to have a lot of work to do. And it's going to yeah. be so pleasurable. <laughs> yes. Laughter, so joy, I'm send and you messages. And thank you so much, Carrie, for yes. being the step up to the platform. It just came out of the sky as a gift. And I'm so grateful. Thank you so yes. much. And if you want to join our shows, you're going to be more than welcome. Thank you. And we can have you on again, too. Much love to all. Many blessings. Thank and we'll look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. Love you. Bye. Bye. I love you. Bye. So good to see you guys. Adios. See you guys. Bye. To remember who you are. Oh, now, child, please don't frown. You can choose a new vibration, and these words can take you far. I am a 21st century superhuman. Answers are inside. I am 21st century superhuman. Now, now, now is the time.